director uh, of Dinamo Zagreb Academy, also part of Youth uh, Board in Croatian Football Federation and part of Youth Board in the Europa Club Association. Uh, today I will show you a uh, quick, uh, let's say, overview of the academy and then we will start with the first topic that is development under 8 to under 11. So, Croatia, small country, for 4 million people. So this is something that uh, we, uh, let's say, we want, okay? This is a kind of football that we like. So, possessional football. Uh, uh, in this video, uh, Dinamo is playing against Manchester City, under 19. And nine players touched the ball uh, before uh, it was it was goal. Now we on, on this video we can do it once once again. So only I think this player didn't touch the ball. I think. Pass back. Ball back. Play with the goalkeeper. Open wide. Then we have first ball forward. Player on the back again. Ball goes back. But this is all like illusion of game. Okay. Basically, what uh, we want here is to get situation on, on left left wing. Other play back. Now we have positions here. Okay. That you have already left back that is high. Basically, rotations are made in a way that the defensive midfielder is here, here is a left back, and here is he, uh, there is a left winger. Okay, left back attacked attack the line. Left winger is opening on the on the side sideline, and this is the type of player that likes to play one v one. And then, with his individual quality, he is going actually one v two here, and then again. The last principle, you have one, two, three, four, five, six players close, close to the box. the box. Okay, next one. This is totally another idea. Okay? Same competition, same age group, so under 19. So defensive midfielder opening, central midfielder opening, very direct play, winger and finishing. So basically in three three passes you come to the situation. Okay, one more. Okay, this is one of I will just leave the video and then we will comment. Okay, in this position again, one, two, three, four, five, six players close to the box. But from the beginning, okay? Josip Šutalo playing in Ajax now, the player that is playing in Ajax. Plays, play the ball here, okay? And then you have situation when you offer this player a few options, okay? One option is he is overlapping from this side, the other option, the midfielder is penetrating in the box, and the third option is, is to go one one with one. But for example, in this generation, this guy is playing Bundesliga, this guy is playing Ajax, this guy is playing in Rijeka, first division, also first division in Slovenia, 
very, very good players, uh, and I'll explain later what is the idea. Okay. These concrete players who you mentioned play in Fomenta. Okay, from here. And finish. Next, very similar situation. No similar situation. And again, you have this change of side, and again you have this player that are going in and finishing from the midfield. Okay, when you don't have a ball, okay, trying to play high pressure. So, striker only task is to cut the pass on the other side. Играем игра в футбол, който е високо напрежение на тиск. И нападателя се посева само на полова трае и бокса където. При наше притежание играят и навънка и... Ви го бит лаки, но сте го бъл. Окей? Това е Кроиша чемпионшип Анди Найнтин. Uh, Hajduk against Dinamo in a split. So, first minute of the game, <coughs> first second of the game, and then you will see again the numbers, which, which is very important here, okay? Players must know, especially this, this one player, he must know that the, the numbers are here good for us, okay? Basically, 4v4, no, here is not good for the team that is defending. Like each sport, uh, there is basically a mathematical model to, to define the sport. And it looks very complicated, okay? But, if we know what these letters and numbers mean, then it's a little bit easier. Okay? Okay. 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 And then you have 30-40% of things that will uh, have to deal in in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the process. In the process. Yeah. I am all close to the percent of the situations that are known and known, and maybe 30% of the situations that we have to deal with the process. Let's say that the success in football is 100, okay? Like 100%, okay? And then you have coefficients and you have characteristics, okay? Each, for example, each characteristic has different kind of coefficient that determines the success in football. Okay? Then you have, again, different Coefficients for different positions. It's not same anthropometrical status for goalkeeper and for the winger. Има различни коефициенти за различните позиции и всичките характеристики не са напълно еднакви за различните позиции. Same thing in motorical abilities and functional abilities. In motorical knowledge is, is different, okay? You have goalkeepers, central defenders, side backs, midfielders and so on and so on. There is also a few things that you cannot, you cannot make many influence. For example, external fa factors. It's more like that when the player is not in the club. External factors, when they are not in the club, for example. From this perspective, when you see this, this equation, we must ad admire the football players uh, and uh, the youth academy players because they uh, put so much, so much effort and uh, the probability is basically yeah. small. Just uh, 
С Нет. този пример той иска да ни обясни. Да, с този пример да иска да обясни, че е доста важно да уважаваме играчите, защото те са под напрежение много тежко. Те са под напрежение и полагат страшно много усилия за да постигнат тези изисквания от клуба. Basically what I wanted to say is that in our academy the, the, the Dynamo Academy is player centered academy. So player is in the center of the academy. Обяснява, че това, което иска да каже, че играчите са в центъра на академията. Because there is health status, there is external factors, there is error, that is always uh, a good factor and you cannot know and I think that it's just small difference between top clubs and third division. Just maybe, maybe 10%. To create a philosophy of, of one academy, there is there is a whole science behind it. За да се създаде философия на тяхната академия, има прекалено много дълга зад. For example, например, this is this is just to to help if you want to create your coaching philosophy. Това е философията на тренерството, принципите на философията на тренерството и това е само Uh, Факторите, които могат да ви помогнат на вас да си създадете вашата философия. 